Hi, I'm Jay Richards with the Discovery Institute. We are here at the COSM 2022 conference and we have just concluded. And of course, the, the host and convener of COSM is the one and only George Gilder, senior fellow at the Discovery Institute, co-founder with Bruce Chapman of Discovery Institute. And George, we just finished the third COSM conference. I mean, what, what's your feeling having had it happen? I, I thought it was amazing. I mean, we had to surmount real challenges. Yeah. Loss of, of sponsors at one point with the technology crash, mm -hmm. the crypto crash, yep. the uh, lockdowns, the COVID panic, the whole thing made yeah. it. Uh, the greatest challenge we've faced so far. And Steve Bure, I really yes. uh, rose to the occasion, and I think it's the best of all our COSM conferences. I do too. I, I, yeah. It was, uh, we had two Kyoto Prize winners. <laughs> I and, know. And uh, both uh, just pivotal figures in the history of semiconductors, microchips, yep. and thus in the information tools that surround us and enable us oh yeah at, at this moment at the founding yeah that's yeah. these guys so who are the two kyoto for the people that weren't here who are the two that spoke uh, uh carver mead yeah who's received always received the kyoto this year yes just last night i mean the official release and we saw his Kyoto acceptance speech yes. at the same time anybody else did. So that had world. just been released yesterday. That I didn't was realize that. Yesterday. Wow. So, okay. So we we saw that, and then Federico Figin, who huh. both invented the microprocessor and inscribed his initials on the corner of it and yes. aluminum <laughs> <laughs> circuitry. Yes. Uh, and also developed the silicon gate process mm -hmm. that, you know, every transistor used to have to have aluminum or copper yes. cap on it and, uh -huh. uh, and a whole other layer of connectivity mm -hmm. that would have made it, it would have drastically oh, yeah, slowed the industry. And, and he developed the silicon gate, so it's all silicon in various forms. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, well, and we heard both of them at the conclusion yeah, last we heard night. Both of them simultaneously. Last night. Yeah. And but but uh, Federico, after all these years, mm -hmm. um, brings this authority as oh. a pivotal inventor yes. to apply his mind to um, the challenge of artificial intelligence. I know it. Well, and, 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 and he, he alluded that that he had changed his mind. He yeah. was a committed materialist at one point yeah, and yeah. clearly is not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a sort of surprise to me. What is it, do you know, what is his thinking generally now? Where, where, where well, is he? Well, he expounded it last night in, in uh, ways too profound and, and for me to readily. Yes, uh, to summarize it. Summarize it, but uh, essentially he, he has a new quantum theory of mm -hmm. that uh, each individual is in some sense infinite, yes. and our symbol systems are all limited, yes. and, and uh, artificial intelligence is limited mm -hmm. by its symbol system. And that's what it has access to, it, is the it, symbols. It, and yeah. uh, the, it, it, it's, um, its cogitations or whatever. Yeah. Are, are really irrelevant to this infinite domain of uh, of the agent. Of, I mean, of, of yeah. the human soul. That's right. And and, and this is really it was a very uh, affirmative and inspirational mm. testimony from a great scientist. Absolutely. Uh, to the ultimate infinitude that it encompasses us. Absolutely. I mean, he talked about the, the reality of freedom, the reality of transcendence and yeah, agency, yeah. and it, yeah. each of us being irreducible to the parts, which yeah. I think is amazing. Yeah. Irreducible is his new book. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, um, well, did you, any, did you learn anything new at this conference, something that you didn't know before? I, I learned from uh, Federico. I mm -hmm. learned from Carver. I learned uh, the, you know, details about his history and as expounded in that speech. I know it. And, and um, I learned from my cousin Josh. Yes. Josh Gilder gave a 
fascinating account of how the world is mobilizing against the agriculture mm -hmm. that sustains all our lives. Absolutely. And it's, it's, uh, it was quite an arresting It is. Yeah, it was. It was. And then, of course, we heard here at the end you were with John Tamney talking yeah, about money. It was John also very Tamney. provocative. Yeah, we, it, it, the politicians want us to talk about the fat all the time. Yeah. They, to pretend that the fat is responsible for what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and Tamney really was a very useful corrective <laughs> to that. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. That well, in several of the panels, one, the one on AI, AI was really terrific. Uh, yeah. yeah, with Blake and Lemoyne. Eric Schmidt. Yeah, uh, Eric, Eric Schmidt. Eric Schmidt was just tremendous. He uh, really was. He I was, really knows how to use Zoom. I he does, say. exactly. It was actually very compelling over yeah, Zoom and yeah. actually said, uh, you know, some, some sort of comforting and encouraging things, I thought, that I wasn't yeah. expecting from him. Yeah. And Peter Thiel. Yes. Uh, the thing I will remember, which I thought was very profound that Peter said mm -hmm. in his keynote, yes. Peter Thiel keynoted again, that uh, all the uh, most, uh, uh, most advanced text about AI, yes. you could change every use of the word artificial intelligence mm -hmm. or AI with software or computer the word software or computer yeah. and it wouldn't change anything no exactly and, and this is what i've been saying i've i haven't put it so pithily mm -hmm. as <laughs> peter did but in general ai is just the number the next step in the evolution of computer technology yeah absolutely and it it uh, doesn't destroy jobs. It doesn't replace humans. Yeah, it's not yeah, going yeah, to become yeah, awake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in some ways, artificial intelligence is the greatest marketing coup of all time. Yeah. <laughs> right? They're trying to, to make us fear it. Yeah, though. yeah. And uh, we had, an inter we, interesting, we had the guy at G Google. Yes, Blake LeMoyne. Blake LeMoyne, yes. who got um, fired oh. for, uh, for saying the wrong things about AI. And yeah. AI is becoming kind of a religion. That's right. And of course, that's the, the goal of creating an artificial general intelligence starts with the founding of Google itself. That's the sort of irony. But yeah, it, yeah. So appar apparently, he jumped the gun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and what he was willing to say. It was really nice to have him here, yeah, though. Yeah, it was. Absolutely. That was, that was a historic. Yeah, it really was. Yeah, I mean, I what's wonderful about this conference is that we were able to have genuine disagreement and discussion and dialogue about things that, frankly, in a lot of universities, students yeah, would never yeah, hear yeah, anything about. All but, yeah, it, I mean, it was, almost every panel, yeah, but not yeah. fractious, not obnoxious, yeah. you know, productive. And we had the superabundance theme, yes. uh, which I think is a vast significance. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. a really major breakthrough in the history of economic thought. Yep. As Larry Summers and Paul Romer and all yes. these leading economists have attested, yeah, um, these two um, these uh, two econ guys, uh, econ, yeah, un, un, yeah, unexpected. Yeah. Upside surprise. Again. Absolutely. It was wonderful having both Ma Ma both Marion Tupi and Gail Pooley here yeah. for the conference. It was just a yeah. delight. Well, George, congratulations. It was another great conference, <laughs> yeah. and I feel like there's a lot more to come. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. Good to be with you. Great to see you. We're George Gilder and Jay Richards here at the COSM 2022 conference. Thanks for joining us.